So I'd program these titanium parts. And they were really simple, they were for two axis lay. And the second shift machinist, near retirement age, older guy, he'd never been nothing but an operator before. So he sets the part up and then we started breaking drills. So he comes up to my desk and he just starts laying into me, you know, how I'm sick of these programmers programming too fast. It's like, these things never work. He's like, you can't run that fast in titanium and all this stuff. But like I looked up the manufacturer's recommendations, was going off their feeds and speeds. Everything was right. I was actually on the conservative side. So like nothing really crazy was happening. So I was like, it should work. So I started asking him, is it his setup? You know, it's like, do you got something wrong with your setup? Is it out of alignment, something like that? Well, of course, he just starts going off like, no, like there's nothing wrong with that. And he's like, we do it just like we always do. So I like get up out of my desk, I go down there and I start looking at it. And I was like, did you indicate your drills in? He's like, no, we never do that. It's like, what are you talking about? You, get, you got to indicate the drills in. Like every time you take one out, you put one, a new one in, you've got to indicate it in. So they had them in this like ER32 collet holders. And of course he just immediately starts like, no, that's not the problem. You know, the program's the problem. So he wants me to like change the program without checking anything. So I'm like, no, we need to check this setup. Well, he wouldn't do it. So I was like, I'll check it for you. I'll prove to you that it's, it's the setup. So he like pulls up a chair sits down, just kicks his feet back. He's like, all right, go ahead. He's like, I wanna, I wanna see it. So I wanna see this young buck show me how to do this. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. I like start getting his indicators out, put them on the spindle, send the drills to X zero. It doesn't have, it's just a two axis lay, so it doesn't have a Y. So I send it to X zero, start indicating in. First thing I notice, drill is out in X by 13 thousandths. I just turn around and point to him. I said, right there's your problem. So they got another tool that's dedicated for uh, the spot drill. They always leave a spot drill in. I said, I'm willing to bet that one's out too. So I reset it, call up the other tool, send it to zero. Sure enough, it's out 13 thousandths as well. They're not only out in X, they're actually out in Y as well, which tells me that the turret is out of line. To get us going, I actually broke the bolts loose and actually moved it off, you know, to so I could indicate it all in line. Once I did that, didn't change anything in the program, retouched everything off, ran it, drilled perfectly. We ran every part on the order with one drill, never broke another drill. Of course, after that, started gaining his respect, started changing his tone after that. He uh, had a different attitude. We like really got into it there for a while and he would not listen to anything I said. So I just had to show it to him, you know? And, and then I told him, you know, look, man, I, I didn't just pull these numbers out of a hat and go to the manufacturer's recommendations. You, start that's a good starting point you know and see how it runs and I'm not saying it's going to be perfect but it's going to be pretty close you know so after that like another programmer started programming those machines and i kind of moved on to more complex stuff and every time so he ended up getting into it, that guy he didn't like anything he wrote neither and he never could convince him so every time they would get into it he would actually tell him to stop and go get me he's like no nah, you need to go get jesse he knows what he's doing you need to ask him what to do <laughs> He would actually come get me. He's like, he'd come, the other programmer would come to me. He'd be like, man, go down there and tell him that I'm right. So he won't listen to me. He'll listen to you. <laughs> you know, we were friends after that and had a mutual respect for each other after that, you know. Yeah, so it all comes down to communication. You need to look at all of your stuff, make sure everything is good on your end. And so does the machinist or whoever's on the opposite end of it. You sweep out from under your own doorstep before you go to somebody else's. And But once you make sure everything is good, then you need to come together as a team. So what I've learned is you need to, you know, check your own setup, go through everything that you know to check through, get on apps like Novo or the manufacturer's website, go through that, find the drill, find whatever tool it is, look up what the recommended feeds and speeds are, see if that's where it's programmed, make one change at a time, don't go and change a lot of stuff at once because then you're not going to know what fixed it. If you do all this and you still find that you got a problem, then you can go to your supervisor or the programmer or whoever it is that's over your project, get them involved, get them to help you see what's going on. Work as a team to solve that problem because every problem has a solution. So I'd love to hear your comments below. If you've had a similar experience, let us know in the comments. Hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay up to date and we'll see y'all next time.